Can you guys hear it? All right. Let's see if we can do it. Whew. I, I bet we can do this. There's a rocket in my pocket. Rocket in my pocket. Rocket in my pocket. There's a rocket in my pocket. Rocket in my pocket. Can I stand up? Oh, I love to stand up. <laughs> you ready? Did you ever have a feeling there's a wasket in your basket or a neuro in your bureau or a was it in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerk in the curtains. I'm an advocate for literature and literacy, and I do story time with Mr. Stephen to fight the fight of getting more kids to read and love books like I did. Welcome back to Story Time with Mr. Stephen. So reading for me is one of those things that a teacher can't necessarily teach you how to do. It's a passion that you have to develop yourself. So the strongest readers are generally the readers who read the most. So came up with an idea to try to get kids engaged in reading. I read children's stories in a way to get kids engaged and excited about books, words, and reading. And with edits and sound effects, you know, just try to make it fun and engaging. Rock versus paper. Who do you guys think won? It's interesting and you, it may seem funny, but even being an African-American male, I did not know initially that there was a need for African-American kids to see an African-American reading children's books. Uh, so now I try to be proactive and intentional with uh, choosing diverse books. Uh, I read some books that I enjoy and I read books that I think need to be heard. Like the champ, I'm here to fight. Like the heart, I am here to love. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love, not fear. I know when I was growing up, um, I lived in an environment and I grew up in an environment where we didn't always get to hear those words. And I think it's nothing more impactful than just simply saying, I am enough. So I hope they enjoy it. Now, the joy that I get to see on those kids' faces. Yes, you do. Thank you. I really don't. I don't think you can place a dollar amount on it. Like, it, it genuinely gives me an excitement and fuel to just rush through the rest of my week or the rest of my year. So, seeing those smiles, man, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Ow, ow, ow. Bye, Ms. Rose. So, this Bye. little bit right here. I am enough. The end. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Subscribe to the Grotto Network.